Today we're taking a look at the Team Red Air Jordan 1 High OG. Although this may be a very basic looking shoe, there are a lot of similarities and differences between past models, and I'm looking forward to giving you guys an early look at this shoe. Oh yeah, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is The DNA Show. Hey! Now before we get started breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials, you know we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 1985, the Air Jordan 1 originally came out, and we saw 16 different original colorways, and this colorway in particular is similar to OG models like the white and blacks, the UNC blues, or the storm blue. So ever since the beginning of time, a color blocking style like this on a pair of Air Jordan 1s has pretty much been iconic from then to now, no matter what color you put on the shoe. But when it comes to something like this, that's a little bit different and not exactly like a team red when it comes to the bulls, people start to get a little bit skeptical. And I've been hearing a lot of people actually comparing this sneaker to the mauve ones that recently came out or the Bordeaux ones that came out a couple years ago. And I can definitely understand why saying that these three sneakers have a lot of similarities when it comes to color blocking and overall color tone of the shoes. And with all the hype behind the Air Jordan 4s now instead of the ones like we've seen in the past few years, a lot of people are starting to question, are these even gonna sell out when they release? Cause I ain't gonna lie, 180 bucks for these? I could understand why you would think twice about this one. So this Team Red in particular particular is something that's kind of new to the scene. It's not like a classic mix like we've seen with the Cool Gray series or the Flint Gray series, but we're starting to see new iterations hit the street like the Yellow Occur with the ones and the sixes. So maybe this might be an introduction to a new set of series with different colorways coming out that are similar to this, but just in a different model. Either way, that's pretty much a quick gist of where we're at today when it comes to this sneaker. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio, do some comparisons and break these things down. And here we have it, the Team Red Air Jordan 1 High. Now looking at the box, as you can see, they've done a switch up when it comes to the typical box with the OG style. You got the black box with the red text. On this one, they got the Team Red all throughout the box with the white text. And we've been seeing this more often on the past couple years when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 releases and even other retro releases as well. Now looking at the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG White. Team Red, size 13, just for me. And retail on these things was 180 bucks. Now lifting off the lid right here, you have your all white paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. All right, first impressions of this sneaker. Honestly, bro, I was not expecting this color to be so deep and so dark. I thought it was gonna be brighter than this. And make sure you guys stick around till later in the video when I compare these against the Storm Blue Air Jordan 1s because there are a lot of similarities and differences when it comes to these. Starting with the outsole, you have your classic Air Jordan 1 bottom all over team red. And then you're gonna have your all white midsole with the white stitch. And that's gonna be in that pure vibrant white compared to the sail or any type of faded color that we typically see on some of these new retros. Going to the upper, you have your all over two-tone upper with the team red and then your white all throughout the rest of the panels. And when it comes to the leather and material, as you can see when I push my finger across it, it's kind of getting that wrinkle to it, but it doesn't feel super nice or super bad or anything. It just feels like a standard Air Jordan 1. Now, one thing that I am noticing is the swoosh and the size of it. I feel like it's a little bit bigger, but we will see when we compare these against the Storm Blues a little bit later in the video. Another thing that I noticed right here on the back end around the ankle hit, you're gonna have the Air Jordan Wings logo and it has that raised print on there with the white print right there. Sometimes it's typically stamped into the shoe, but we're starting to see it's more raised on some of these retros. These have a white vamp and a white side panels and a white around the collar on the the back end and then you have an all over white mesh tongue with a white patch and a team red nike air branding on the center of that these come standard with a pair of all white flat laces and an additional pair of team red laces as well looking at the collar on the inside you have your all over team red on the fabric and then you're gonna have a team red sock liner with a white nike air in the center of the back of the heel everything's pretty much straightforward when it comes to this sneaker and honestly they might have done a couple things a little bit better than the storm blue ones let's go ahead and compare those so when you put these two shoes side by side you can definitely see they are very very similar but there's actually a lot of subtle differences when it comes to these two retros and we got to remember the times and eras when it comes to these as well because these are almost 10 years apart so like i was talking about earlier look at the swoosh and the size and the placement of the two swooshes they're going back with a bigger swoosh on this og high retro cut compared to the smaller swoosh that we've seen in the past this is something that a lot of people like and i think people are going to appreciate once they see this shoe in hand now when it comes to the tongue and the laces and everything like that essentially all
all the same, but there's definitely a big difference when it comes to the collar on the inside of the foot. We always saw this kind of mesh material on the inside right here and it had big holes and you could feel the texture of it. They're going with more of a smooth, kind of like a silkier feel to it on the inside of these collars now. And a lot of people like the feel of that and how it wears. Another thing to notice, like I talked about earlier as well, is going to be the Wings logo. As you can see on the Storm Blue Retro, the Wings logo is stamped into the shoe. And this is actually raised on the shoe when it comes to the Team Red colorway. Now, one thing that I can say is, I feel like the leather was a little bit better on the Storm Blue Air Jordan ones, at least around the collar. You can see how it's a little bit more, I guess, tumbled or it feels a little bit thicker and softer. And when it comes to the Team Reds, it's a little bit more firm and doesn't have as much give to it. So I can say I liked how they executed the materials on this one, but again, I don't know, maybe it needs to get worn in or something like that, but I feel like they did a little bit better on the previous retros back in the day. Oh yeah, by the way, real quick, just to let you guys know, we got some new merch that just hit the shop, a bunch of different colorways and new designs. So hit the link down below in the description or the item pinned here in the video. I'm excited to see you guys rocking the gear. Make sure you tag me once you cop something, I would love to see your photos. All right, let's get back to the video. And then when it comes to the sock liners, you're gonna have different colors on those. This one has a white sock liner. This one has a team red sock liner. But besides those little details on the shoes, let me know what you guys think down below when it comes to the differences because I think there's elements that people like on this more than the Storm Blues. But then again, this is an OG, so I can understand why they would like the Storm Blue more. And I'm very interested to see what everybody else thinks. So I always post a poll on my Instagram story, and then I share the results here on the channel. So I ask the people the simple question, which shoe is better? 86% of the people said, the Storm Blues and 14% of the people said the Team Reds. Now clearly we know everybody loves the Storm Blues for so many different reasons, but I'm interested. I know these lost, but are they trash? Like do people not like them at all? So I asked the same question, is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? And this is what the people said. 64% of the people chose fire and 36% of the people said trash. So honestly, I feel like that's still a good majority. Again, that means typically when I see these percentages, the shoe's not gonna sell out. And again, it's 180 bucks. People probably not gonna wanna pay over that crazy retail price. And because of that, you might be able to catch the shoe on sale or even potentially see them at an outlet. But you guys have to remember, we said this same thing about the Storm Blue One. I literally got these from the outlet, under 100 bucks. And now look at the prices. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So when it comes to an OG color blocking, something like this, again, it's not the OG colorway, but it's hard to lose when it comes to something like this. But at the end of the day, long haul, you know, say the shoe is, the market's down now, and the shoe's 180 and you get it for 160 or potentially catch it on sale and get it for 120, 130, whatever that may be. I don't think it's gonna be worth that much five, 10 years from now, you're gonna look at it like these and be like, damn, it's been some time since those came out and look at the price of them now. I think this is gonna be a similar scenario, maybe a little bit cheaper, but with inflation, you know, it might maybe a little bit more, who knows? Either way, I think this is a great buy, a great addition to the collection if you like the shoe. Again, don't take it up if you don't think you like it. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I got some more videos coming very, very soon. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in another one. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and wanna take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well so if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how i run my businesses this is definitely going to be a place where i can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate so hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and i'll see you guys on the inside it's in my dna hey, hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware today one one i would never let you down it's in my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it it's in the dna